Let's give one more round of applause for our fantastic choir and band performances this evening. It is a tradition at Timberland High School for seniors to vote on whichever teacher they would like to have speak at graduation. This year, they have selected Timberland's marketing teacher and DECA sponsor, Mr. Oliva. Thank you, Mr. Lindquist. I am truly honored to be speaking to all of you on this momentous occasion. I really do want to thank my students that lobbied for me to be selected this year. I am truly humbled. The privilege of speaking to the class of 2016 will either be a highlight of my career or an abrupt end, depending on Dr. Kane's sense of humor. <laughs> if you have not placed your bets, please see Mr. Kyman, Mr. Peterson, Mr. Elfrank, or Mr. Schellert ASAP. I want to congratulate you on the, many of, or the first of many major milestones. I truly hope that this is just the beginning of a remarkable and fulfilling life. With such massive numbers as we have here today comes endless possibilities and high expectations that we have for all of you. Mr. Linquist and I are really expecting one of you to come up with a cure for baldness quickly, please. For those of you that I did not teach, my name is Michael Oliva. I teach marketing at Timberland, as Mr. Lindquist said. Many of you only know me as the grumpy old guy in the hallway that asks you to take off your hat, stop making out, or go to class. You know that's true. I am also the happy-go-lucky proud sponsor of the best DECA program in the state. A special thank you to my outstanding officers this year. You will be missed. Throughout my life, though, I have experienced much, and I am able to identify with you no matter what your story. I am the child of divorce. My parents died much too early. I went to school long enough to be a doctor and ended up working at Jiffy Lube. I learned what it is like I'm sorry, I learned early that life was simply not fair. Really, look at me. Is this fair? I don't think so. But through all of my challenges and struggles, I have learned a few things that I would like to pass on to you. Let's call them Deep Thoughts by Mr. Oliva in four-letter words. Now, these won't be the same four-letter words that your teachers scream when they walk into the teacher's lounge when you've asked them to turn in a paper one month late. These will be a few choice words for your future. The first one is quite easy. It is, I want you to be able, to, or I want you to read. We have been trying for 13 years to get you to read more than 140 characters at a time. We already know that you have to read for work and for school as you go forward. But my librarian wife and I want you to find a genre that you like, put down your phone, and read for fun. Not only will you enjoy yourself, you will get smarter as you go forward. The next one is work. Not work for a paycheck like I used to do. Work because it calls to you. Work because you make a difference. I don't want you to, first, I don't want you to settle for something that you hate. Job hop until you find that vocation that makes you happy. After my parents passed and I graduated from college, I drifted from job to job, getting bored, and were irritated until I ended up here in education. My friends in law enforcement wanted me to get a badge, but I chose another direction. I thought that I would teach for five years and then move on to my next challenge, but you, the students of Timberland High School, kept me here. The next one may be challenging, and that is for you to talk. I really do enjoy watching you when your phone dies or you run out of data because you look so very confused. Do I have to make eye contact with people and actually talk? Oh no. Some of you are actually afraid to order pizza. 
I can assure you that the people across the counter from you or the people on the telephone have had to deal with people who have much less intelligence than you. Go ahead and talk to them. Don't be afraid. Tell them what you think. Express those opinions. The next word I want to give you is love. Not the spit-swapping euphoria you experience in the hallways between classes. We're talking about real love. After my parents were gone, my family and my friends made sure that they connected with me and made me feel loved. I was never alone on a holiday or a birthday. They made sure I was okay, especially on my darkest days. I am truly blessed to have all of them in my life. I hope that all of you can feel the, the love of friends and family as you move forward. But most importantly, give that love back to them. On the romantic side of the equation, please be patient. You might have to kiss a ton of frogs before you get to meet your prince or princess. I can't tell you how many times I was the frog. But eventually, I found my princess, and she makes every day better. Finally, I want you to live. Stop Snapchatting and chat. Stop clashing and go outside. Find those things that you enjoy and do those. I didn't find many of my passions till later in life. I don't want you to wait. Do it now. Leave Wentzville to see what it is like far away. If you don't like it, come back. If you do like it, stay and enjoy your life. Now let's just do one thing for fun. Using your hand on a scale from zero to four, I want you to tell me about your understand. No, we're not going to do that. You never have to do that again. A few other things that you never have to do again, tardy sweeps, early NHS meetings, oh, and waiting forever to leave the parking lot. I know you're gonna miss that. But there are a few things that I believe that you will miss. Your friends at your lunch table, Decastor popcorn, and the teachers that care about you. Please remember one thing. You will always be a wolf. Thank you, and good luck. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Oliva. I would like to now introduce our student speaker this afternoon, Mr. Tyler Chapman.